Radio Raheem with the crossover killer, Tommy Fury. I like it. Hey, listen, you earned this title. Yes. And I know before the Jake Paul fight, you're like, you know, uh, I'm a real boxer. I want to be a contender. I want to be a world champion. This is just a, a, a sidetrack. I had to do this fight. But what you really have become is possibly the only guy that can stop these crossover guys from Honestly. taking over and talking all this shit about the sport. Uh, is that not a an honored position to be in? Like, you yes. can be the guy to put all the boxers' uh, honor at stake. Yeah, no, thank God every single day for it, um, the position that I'm in. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, it's what it is. It's another fight. It's another fight on a, on a road that's going to lead me somewhere that I don't know where it's going yet. <laughs> so I'm taking one fight at a time. I'm a four days out. What can I say? Um, I'm absolutely ready. I'm in the shape of my life. My hometown Manchester, ready to go out there and perform. I mean, the truth is that the reason KSI wants to fight you is because you beat uh, Jake Paul. Yeah. And if you beat KSI... When? Then, when? Then, when? The next, you know, uh, YouTuber is going to step up. You're, you're really like the world championship belt to them. Because I don't know yeah. that any of them will ever actually be able to challenge for a world championship. So yeah. beating Tommy Fury is the thing. Why do you think that Jake Paul didn't take you up on the the rematch clause? I just don't think at that time he wanted it. You know, mm. I think, you know, he realized that there's levels to this game and you have to go through them levels to step up in class. Um, and KSI is definitely going to need that. Because at least Jake Paul, you know, he fought some sort of fighters, didn't he? Tyrone mm. Woodley twice. Um, the other guys, Anderson Silva and stuff. He fought combat people. This guy's fought a rapper and the rest have been YouTubers. So this is, there's a lot, a big difference in level. I've heard you say that you think KSI is not a, as good a fighter as Jake Paul. So does this mean then that really now you have to knock out one of these guys? Like you have to knock out KSI? I, I, honestly, mate, I'm not looking to go out there on Saturday and win on points. I can mm. safely say that. Um, I'm going out there to do a demolition job. I prepared for 10 weeks like I'm fighting for a world title. You know, mm. I'd, I'd be confident going into a world title fight with the training that I've done. So, at the end of the day, KSI is going to feel a force he's never felt before. And um, I, I truly believe I'm going to plow through. I know that the Fury name is one that is, you know, highly regarded in boxing, you know, your brother's world champion, but he yeah. looks like he's following in your footsteps. <laughs> he's now fighting a crossover fight. Uh, well, uh, have you guys trained it all together for your subsequent fights? I think Francis and Ghana is a lot bigger task than uh, KSI, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but uh, no, he's preparing, it. he's preparing in Morecambe down mm. there. I've been preparing... Around about 15 minutes from here in Cheshire. Um, but been on the phone every day, been speaking. Um, he's in good spirits, I'm in good spirits. He's going to be at the fight here in Manchester. And then I think the following day he's going to fly out to Saudi. So uh, it's going to be great. You know, we're both feeling in amazing shape and uh, just ready to go out and do the job now. It looks like you're giving uh, Ngannou a chance in this fight. Oh, no. No, I'm not giving him a fight. I'm saying that Francis Ngannou is a lot more dangerous a man than KSI. Mm. Um, but, you know, listen, they can all punch at that weight. But what's, what's good about having all that power if you can't land it? You know, I think Tyson's the best to ever do it. And it's, um, I think it's going to be a great spectacle. Now, speaking of families, I know that Jake Paul got after uh, your wife and the mother of your children when you guys were yeah. getting ready to fight. Now this fight has come down to Dylan Danis going after the fiancé of Logan yeah. Paul. Do you think that that crosses the line? I don't really get involved in that. You know, mm -hmm. that's their fight. That's their business. You know, I stay true to myself. You know, I'm a professional athlete. Um, and I don't bring anybody's family into it. I'm not interested in that. I'm focused on the guy in front of me, and that's it. You know, why should I want to rant about his missus or anything like that? But I, again, that's their that's their problems. That's their beef. That's not mine. I've got a fight to focus on on Saturday, and that's all I'm focused on. Now, KSI hasn't fought maybe the caliber of fighter that Jake Paul has, but he has got knockouts. He, you know, has looked good doing it. Uh. <laughs> Do you recognize any threat? to yourself in this fight? No, no. I mean, he's got knockouts over people who's been playing on YouTube and playing like crazy taxi on the internet. But um, against any credible boxers, he's not knocked out one. He's, knocked it, he's not even knocked out any MMA men like Jake Paul had. So there's a huge gulf in class here. And, he's, and listen, we can all talk and talk. I'm sure he's going to come in and talk to you and say all these things and whatnot. But you're going to see on the night. You're going to see in four days because... Anyone can talk a game, but when you get in there, it's about levels. And I'm going to show you the level between a KSI and a Tommy Fury. And you're going to see it. And lastly, for what you've just said, then KSI being a lesser fighter than Jake, you beating Jake but not stopping him and him saying he was sick and, you know, all of these things. Oh, yeah, yeah. But he sneezed if, twice, didn't he? If, sneezed. 
if KSI is successful yeah. on Saturday night, she won't the, be. the The storyline the first time was, you know, is Tommy a contender? Is Tommy a class fighter? If Jacob beat him, and he doesn't, deserve, you know, he's not a, a contender in the real sport of boxing. But if KSI can beat you, what does That's that mean? That's not gonna happen, mate. It's not gonna happen. I got God with me, and um, if God is with me, no one can be against me. I Let put, me say that. I put this to both of you guys, Jake and you, in the first fight. If KSI beats you. Does this mean that your career as a contender in boxing is done? What can I say? If likes of KSI is uh, even even giving me a competitive fight, let's say that. Let me say Fair that. Um, you point. know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out there on Saturday night and do what I should have done to Jake Paul. I'm gonna mm. iron this man out. He'll be very very lucky to get past two rounds. I'm not I'm not playing games this time. There'd be no messing about, feeling each other out. I'm going straight for the kill. Radio Rahim with the crossover boxing killer. Tommy Fury, Saturday night, Manchester Arena. We'll see it all come to fruition. Thank you very much. Thanks for the time. I appreciate it. Radio Raw here with the crossover killer, Tommy Fury.